without me, without me. What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the new episode. I don't even remember what week we're on right now. I think it's 19. We're almost in the 20s. I don't know if you guys remember, but like one of my first episodes, I talked about how I was working with a barber shop. It was one of my clients. We hadn't even started running campaigns yet. It's been like three months now because there was a problem with their Facebook page and we've been trying to get in contact and trying to work with Facebook, the actual company, for so long and they're awful at communication. I mean, it's probably not their fault. They probably have a million people reaching out to them as advertisers all the time with questions and shit. Finally fixed the problem, so I just had a meeting with them. So we're gonna be kicking off the actual campaign for them next week, which will actually be part of this episode, which is epic. But it's Friday, it's 12.30, beautiful day. It's also New Music Friday, so I'm just gonna drive around for about a half hour and listen to some some new jams. Meek Mill's new album came out. I think Lana Del Rey, is it Lena? No, it's definitely Lana. He has a new album out too. I jams to everything, so I do that. So I don't I don't know if anyone else does that. Sometimes when I get bored, I'll literally just get in my car and I'll drive around for like an hour and just listen to music. I'll like rap, I'll pretend I'm like a rapper and then I'll sing. It gets real in this car. So if you've ever sat passenger in the seat, you know what I'm talking about. That's where I'm at right now. Hey, so we just got some, some of the gear, some samples of the new clothes that I have available on the website. Look at this. I sent them with the package and everything, so we're gonna open these bad boys up. So we ordered crew neck, a regular t-shirt, and a hoodie. Apologize for the mess that I call my house. Let's go. This is a regular hoodie. This is what I'm most excited about, the crew neck. I don't know why I got it in light blue. I should have went with like black or dark blue or something, but it's pretty fresh. I'm gonna have to wash all this stuff, get all the wrinkles out and whatnot. And then I think I just got a regular plain black t-shirt. Yes, sir. Oh, this feels nice. This is good material. It's gonna sound weird, but it smells like salt and vinegar chips. Let me try these bad boys on. Oh yeah, this fits perfectly. It's not like too long down here. It's not too long on the wrists or anything. It's like the perfect bagginess too. It's not slim fit, but it like fits around the arms really, really well. Good hood. Oh man. Fire! Oh yes sir. Crew neck fits absolutely perfectly. Right to the body. Good stretchy fit on the bottom. Same thing on the wrists. Not like too baggy or anything like that. This is actually dope. I'm pretty excited about these. And then we have the t-shirt. Yes, sir. Another good fit. Three for three on the clothing. Very pleased with this stuff. I'm gonna have to wash this like I said, but definitely a good fit. The sweatshirt, crew neck t-shirt, all available on my site. The same place if you order a dad hat, you can get them on the same place, bdgeat.com slash shop. It'll be linked in the description. See, I like both of the crew neck and the sweatshirt. I'm probably gonna get a few of those in different colors and just rock those all winter. It's Tuesday morning, yep, the 25th. Realize I haven't been filming too much this week. I haven't been checking in on the vlog. I've just been putting out so much content for the fantasy football that I've been focusing on that. Four, five, six videos a week. So I, I need to stay on top of that because it's like the prime time for growth. But I am, I just heard back from the barbershop owner. I mocked up a bunch of ads, a bunch of creatives. I got them over everything that we needed to do. He gave me the okay. So we're about to, you know, click okay and run this thing. The cool part about when you're doing like Facebook or this kind of marketing for small businesses, right? Each and every client is gonna be so different. Like the one of the clients I run for right now, the fantasy football one, they, they're an e-commerce business. So my goal is to sell the products that they sell on their site. For this barbershop right now, they're looking to hire other barbers. So now I'm trying to generate leads. I'm trying to generate possible applicants rather than sell an e-commerce product or rather than even have people come into the barbershop to get haircuts which will be like the next step if this goes well. So e each time you're doing this, right, and I work with people who are maybe setting up an event, like a charity event, you wanna advertise so more people come, or if you wanna sell their products to a mom and pop store, there's like so many different ways that you can advertise through Facebook. You can 
get people to download your app, you can get people to buy products off your website, you can get people to sign up for a webinar. Like that's the cool thing about this is there's so many different options and it's so customizable. But I'm about to click go on this campaign and we are up and running, so that's cool stuff. It's uh, Wednesday night, we have a softball meeting tonight. It's our first one of the season. Actually, it's the only one we have. Me and my friends playing a softball league, like slow pitch. Last year was our first year. Wasn't a great year, not gonna sugarcoat it. You'll die from diabetes if these other ninjas wrote it. Not gonna get into the details of how bad we are. You know, you win some, you lose some. <clears throat> the league is huge. It's like 70 teams, mostly teams that have been playing together for legit 30 years. They're all like a bunch of old dudes. And then you have like me and my friends who are 23, 24, 25. And we're like all good athletes, right? We played baseball in high school, like varsity. A lot of the people on the team, like all league or whatever. So we're like, yeah, whatever, you know, we'll be good enough to compete with everybody. Wasn't the case. These guys are good. Softball's a whole nother animal. I don't get it, but we're gonna play again this year. We want, we want revenge. I mean, we might not have the best record, but I'll tell you what, we definitely had the most fun. It was shitty only because it was Sunday morning games, really early. I don't remember if it was eight or 9 a.m. I'm hoping it's 9 a.m., praying it's 9 a.m. Thus, you know, we're going out the night before, most of the time staying out pretty late. We've got a game early in the morning. We don't show up looking too good. Thus, we don't play good. So it's kind of just a ridiculous situation, but I don't know, I just thought I'd inform you guys because then when uh, when softball season starts, you're gonna be seeing a lot of game footage. Hit it, tells you it's in progress. Or even if you change like the field assignment or something, it, it go right. Yeah, so it, uh, field assignment, uh, time, anything changes about that game. What's up, y'all? Thursday, July 27th, I think. Kind of just getting up right now. So on that last clip, I hung my TV on the wall. I had it over here, it was on that stand, but I bought a mounting thing off Groupon for like, I think like 13 bucks. Really cheap, and it holds anything from like a 23 to 55 inch TV. So I hung it there because I'm in, my bed's over here. It's a mess. My mom always yells at me. She's like, when you do your videos, make sure your bed's made. I'm like, okay. I'm like kind of laying down, just relaxing on my laptop from bed. This is my view. So I wanted to hang it so I don't have to look that way anymore. I don't know why I can maybe even explain this to you, but I just got up and I'm just gonna hit the gym right away. I don't know why, I just feel good, got good sleep. Maybe a chest workout, maybe a full upper body workout. I'll see how I'm feeling when I'm there. And then I will get into the, the title of this video, which is how much does YouTube pay? Because I just got a payment from YouTube and I get that question a lot, so stay tuned. Yes.
All right, so we're talking about a question that I actually get pretty often, getting paid by YouTube. How much do they pay you? When do they pay you? Like, what do they pay you for? Is it clicks? Is it views? Is it, what is it, you know, what's it all about? Do you make a lot of money off YouTube? Hell no. Nobody makes a lot of money off YouTube unless you're getting hundreds of thousands of views or millions of views per video. Like a dude like Casey Neistat, can make a living off YouTube easily. And I'm bringing this up right now because I actually got paid by YouTube this week. So I wanted to show you like how much I made, what they pay you for and all that, all that stuff. So the way YouTube works is you connect your YouTube account with Google AdSense. And Google AdSense is basically the platform for marketers that want to market through YouTube. You hook it up through there and then when you're on your YouTube channel, you could choose to monetize your videos or not monetize your videos. When you're monetizing your videos, that means basically when you start a YouTube video, right? Not me, not a creator, but like any of you guys go on YouTube, as soon as the video starts, you see an ad first, right? You'll see whether it's like 15 seconds or, or longer or less, whatever it is. And then sometimes in the middle of videos, you'll, <clears throat> you'll also see advertisements that like stop midway through and you watch them. That is what they base the payments on. There's no, I have no idea, like I don't have an exact formula for this. I couldn't tell you that it's like this much per this or this much per this. They work on a CPM, which in the marketing world is cost per impressions. And CPM means like cost per 1000 impressions. Anyone who's like even basic level knowledge of marketing knows, you know, would know about that. The more ads you put into your video, your YouTube, you could choose if you want the beginning ads, the middle ads and stuff like that, the more money you're gonna make because the more eyeballs are on those ads. At the same time, you kind of risk people being like, all right, like fuck this, I'm in the middle of watching a YouTube video, I don't want 20 second ads every, every 10 minutes, right? And that's why some of the ads in the beginning, you know, you could watch them really quickly and then it says like skip after five seconds, you'll get more money for the ones that if you if you decide to put ones in that don't give you the skip option because people have to watch for 15 seconds rather than just five or 30 seconds, whatever it is. Um, but those are annoying as shit, obviously, as you know, as a YouTube watcher, anyone who watches the videos. Now I'll dive in, now come here, I'm like literally waving you guys over like you can move through the camera. I'll show you the AdSense account and I'll show you my YouTube account and everything and I'll give you the numbers behind it. So like I said, this week I got paid from Google, right? I was hoping they sent me like a, or YouTube. I got paid $140, that was the check I received. Google, service and supplies, $140, right? That's how much I made. You might be thinking like, wow, that's pretty cool. Like how often do you get paid $140? Well, I've had a YouTube account for like two or three years. That was the second check I've ever received from them. I have a collective 185,000 views on my videos, 1,700 subscribers. The reason it's $140 and I didn't, oh my God, this thing fucking broke again. This is the second time this uh, tripod broke. The light just snapped off. They do not, Google AdSense does not let you cash out until you hit $100. Also, I had a, a period of time where I think I had a copyright infringement. So for like 10 or 15 of my videos, I didn't get any revenue from them, which sucks because I think the 10,000 calorie challenge was one of the videos that had, was in that time frame, so I didn't get any money from that. I probably would've got like an extra 20 bucks. <laughs> they don't pay you off views strictly because obviously someone who clicks on the video and then immediately clicks off is worth less than someone who clicks on it, watches the ad, watches the entire video, watches another ad. So all views are definitely not created equal. Shout out MLK. Something else I wanted to show you guys was this app that's like in YouTube called Tube Buddy. So when you go to any video, right? You download it, I think it's a Google Chrome extension or I'm, I don't know, you can just Google TubeBuddy. Uh, let's see like the 10,000 calorie challenge. Do it. I wanna... It has 13,000 views. So on the right here, this is TubeBuddy basically popping up and it gives you the statistics of the video and this will come up on any video. It tells you the total views and it gives you an estimated earning. So that's saying off these 13,000 views, I've estimated an earning of $20. So imagine how many views you need to get to make this like a full-time job and do that consistently. You need to be putting out videos like four or five times a week that all get 250,000 views. And it gives you an estimated earning, right? Like $20, but it also has a range. So based on the number of views, like you could actually have made anywhere from 326 to $52, depending on the length of the people that watch the video and how many ads they saw and shit like that. And it gives you a breakdown of a bunch of other stuff. So it's kind of cool when you look at that. And again, that's called Tube Buddy, T-U-B-E, B-U-double-D's. Shout out my ex-girlfriend, Y. I think that answers basically everything. And then you go to 
Google AdSense, and this is what it looks like, estimated earning. It, there's nothing here because I just cashed out. Updates, I think the 15th or the 20th of every month. And then when you're in YouTube, you could also go to your channel and then go to analytics, which shows you, you could look at anything from like views to subscribers to estimated revenue and it will give you, you could do it any time range and stuff. So if I go to revenue, this is over the last 28 days, it says we made like 50 bucks. So we'll say like last week. Last week I made an estimated revenue of 1764. And it tells you day by day, so I made like $3.38 this day. So if you have a very popular YouTube channel, yes, you could you can make a living off YouTube, but you need to be super popular. It is a cool way to make an extra income though if you have a lot of subscribers, if you have a lot of followers, you know, it could end up being like this is going pretty quick. So I'm, I'm assuming I'll probably get another check from YouTube maybe in September or maybe even in August. I don't know. So it could be like an extra $500 to $1,000 a year for me, which is kind of crazy, I guess. But again, just showing you, you do not, you make shit off of YouTube. So I just wanted to give you a more in-depth view. And that's going to wrap up this video, this week's video. I think it was week 19. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, just scroll down a little bit. Give it that thumb or... <coughs> Sorry. Thumbs up video. New BDG here on the site. Check it out. Everything in the description. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy it. And we'll be back tomorrow, aka next week's episode, for more action. <laughs>